In this day and age of free and open source, there's gotta be an upscaler that is free where you don't have to sign up or jump through hoops to get it working. There is, starting with number three, upscale with a Y. It is motivated. All you have to do is to click on download. It's available for Linux, Mac OS, Windows, everything. If you click on Windows, just install the EXE installer, that's it. But if you click on Mac OS, click on DMG if you wanna install it for free. Otherwise, if you click here, you gotta pay a little bit. Anyway, click on in here, install the app, that's it. The great part is it's on your system so you don't have to have online access or internet to get it working. Supports all major formats, just drag and drop your photo or select your image from right here. You can choose whatever model you want, just play with each one of them, see what they create. If you go to settings right here, you have the option to choose how many times you wanna upscale, 2x, 3x, 4x, that's up to you. Let's go back to upscale and click on upscale. That's it, and there it is, it's done. Before after. Look at the eyes. It does a pretty darn amazing job. Before, after. Even if you take a look at the nose, before, after. Good focusing. Even right here on the whiskers, before, after. It takes all of those pixels away. By default, the image is exported to the same folder. So if you open the folder, you'll see cat upscaled 4x. You can also choose an output folder, that's up to you. Now let us try upscaling double that, which is 16 times. It will be a much heavier load on your system. All you have to do is to check double upscale. As you can see, the resulting resolution, 9600 by 10,240, it's crazy. Click on upscale. You might wonder, how is this 16 times? Well, by default, it does four times, right? If we do double that, we are doubling the width and we are doubling the height and thus 16 times. There you go. It is done. And the result is just insane. Here's the before, here's the after. Now you can go to image settings, preview settings. You can preview at 200%. Now this is a bit wonky, but I have no complaints because this is free. They're doing such a great job, absolutely for free, not asking you to sign up or anything. So if this helps you, do consider donating. If you go to settings, you'll see the donate button. The next one on our list is dgb.lol. For some reason, it looks like a joke. Anyway, if you don't have a powerful system, this is the one to try. You can go to tools right here. They have a lot of free tools. Here you have image upscaler, mid journey, splitter, lots of tools right here, background remover. Let us try the image upscaler. The website is run by ads. That's how they're able to fund this. If you don't wanna see the ads, you gotta pay, but uh, we are looking for free options. So let's drag and drop our photo. And here as well, you have the option to choose the model you want for upscaling. I'm gonna leave it balanced and click on submit. Now it is submitted and that is the catch with this platform. If you go to my files, you will notice that your file is on queue. Now just as if some center was giving out free food, you have to wait for your turn to get the free food because there are a lot of people who want the free food. Similarly right here, you have to wait for your turn and in this case, it is as long as 15 minutes. So let's see what happens. And with the magic of editing, it's been more than 16 minutes. Let's refresh again. And we are still on wait at five minutes. That's crazy. While this is processing, let's move on to number one, not by ranking, the last one, and that is pixelcut.ai. Inside of tools, you will find image upscaler. Again, you don't have to sign up or anything. If you wanna batch upscale, you have to pay, but that is the advantage with upscale with a Y. Here, you can easily batch upscale. Just turn that on. You can select the folder, batch upscale thousands of your photos. Because after all, it's using your system's energy. Let's upload the portrait and you can choose to upscale 4x. Right now it is just processing. Let us click on 4x. The upscale is pretty okay. There are unnecessary halos here and there, but we need to still compare it with others. Also, the background was out of focus, but somehow it also focused it. Not a big problem. We can mask it out in Photoshop. Let's see if DGB is done or it's still in queue. It's still in queue. Now, while we are waiting, let's also do it in Photoshop just for the fun of it. As you can see, this is low res. Let's go to image image size, inside of that you'll find preserve details 2.0. Just select that and upscale it to about 2400 width. Click on okay. And there you have Photoshop's result. Quite instantaneous. And we are still stuck at four minutes, even after 32 <laughs> minutes. I've seen enough ads, even government offices are faster than this. <laughs>Finally, it is done and we can download this. This went to processing pretty quick and it just depends on when you upload and how much traffic there is. Now it is time for us to compare and figure out which one is the best. So here's the original one. On top of that, we have the Photoshop upscale. There you go. Now, what do you think of this? Here's the before and here is the after. Of course, it is better than the original one, but nothing outstanding. If you have a look at the whiskers right here, here's the before 
and here is the after. It does take those pixels away, but at the same time, it merges them. It doesn't make it straight. Also, if you have a look at the fur right here, before, after, not very satisfactory, but again, better than the original. Now, on top of that, we have pixel cut before, after, much better than Photoshop's upscaling. So this was Photoshop's upscaling and this is pixel cut. Night and day difference. If you have a look right here, Photoshop's upscaling and pixel cut. That is just crazy. Have a look at the fur, Photoshop's upscaling, pixel cut. Oh my gosh. Have a look at the overall image. Even if you have a look at this hair right here, Photoshop's upscaling, you cannot even see it and pixel cut. On top of that, we have upscale with a Y. So here's pixel cut and here's upscale. Can you really tell the difference? They look almost the same. Let's zoom in a bit too much and have a look at this. Pixel cut, upscale. I can see some changes here. Pixel cut, upscale. But then again, if you look at it overall, you really cannot tell the difference. It is just like the printer painted two copies of the same document. The ink will be slightly different, but it, it's the same thing. If you zoom in right here, you will notice a line. Can you see it? Have a look at this line right here. This line is not there with pixel cut but it is there with upscale and you will see it in different images, but it's very, very minor. Let us look at the time taking, sometimes time taking DGB. So here's upscale and here's DGB, almost the same. Have a look right here. There was this line with upscale, upscale DGB. Even with DGB, we don't have that line, but apart from that, it's almost the same. Upscale DGB, cannot even tell the difference. Upscale. DGB. It's the exact same thing. So as far as the cat is concerned, all three, pixel cut, DGB and upscale with a Y, create almost identical results. Have a look at this portrait right now. So this is the original one. On top, we have Photoshop's upscaling before, after. It's pretty good, but it creates some harsh lines here and there. Also with the hair, it doesn't do a pretty good job. Before, after, not as good. On top of that, we have upscale with a Y. So this is Photoshop and this is upscale much, much better, but it also softens the skin a little bit. You can try different AI models. I tried the general one, but the problem with upscale is that it does create a line. Have a look at this line right here. Can you see it? That problem is not there with pixel cut. Here's the before, here's the after with pixel cut. That line is kind of merged, but the background is still in focus. It shouldn't have been, but not a problem. We can mask it out in Photoshop. We can simply create a mask and erase that. On top of that, we have DGB. I'm guessing this would be the same there. Can you spot the difference? So here's pixel cut and here's DGB, almost identical. So here's what I can say. All three of these are almost identical. Probably they're using the same model. With upscale, however, you may see a line like this from time to time, but that is not the end of upscale with a Y because it's motivated. Let's upload this photo again. And this time let's use a different model. So instead of the general one, the first one, we're gonna use the ultra sharp model right here. And let us upscale it. Now with this model, the background is still blurred. There is no line and this is upscale too, before, after. So that is the flexibility you get with upscale. So which one do you think is the best? Let's discuss in the comments. If you ask me, if you want to process on your system, if you want to batch process and batch upscale thousands of photos or hundreds of photos or how much ever you want. And if you have a powerful system, upscale, hands down is the best. You also have the option to select different models. You can also upload your own model. If you wanna play with other models as well, you can also select folder for custom models. That's the kind of customizability you get. But if your system is not powerful enough, you can always use pixel cut. Because with DGB, sometimes you end up waiting a lot. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.